Hey guys, it's Murdog here. Today I'm going to show you how to create a height map. And uh, this is a request by a request by my friend Chad's Brew. And we're going to get started. So what you need for this, sorry, my cat is on my lap and I'm just trying to get her seated. There we go, we're one of them. Anyway, what you will need for this video this tutorial is uh, an image manipulation program such as GIMP, Paint.net, or Photoshop, etc. Anything that supports layers and blending modes. It's uh, pretty simple. So, uh, once you've figured out how to get those, it's pretty simple. You know, you just Google it like you did with everything else. And once you got that done here, I have a 1000 by 1000 blank image that I've created in GIMP. Um, over on the, in the layer section, I have a height layer, a grass layer, and a special layer. And the blending mode, if you want to go to edit later at, attributes or properties or whatever the heck it is in your program, make sure the mode is set to screen. The blending mode is set to screen for each layer. Once that is done, we can go ahead and start to make a little bit of a, a, a height map. So, starting in the height layer, we're going to make sure we have 0 to 100 selected in the color picker. And I'm just going to start at a value, a red value of 25. The height channel or height layer is going to be all red. It's going to use reds. So I'm just going to fill it just like that. And what I'm going to do is just export it to height.png. Um, you guys will have this when you download the, uh, the this practice mod in the link below in the description. Excuse me. So I'm going to export it and just overwrite the height.png that is already there. Um, you're going to have to navigate to it using that little window. It was already there for me because I've already created this example. So let's go to tear down. And once you have the mod and have made a local copy of it, you can just go to edit. It's going to look like this. And over on the right hand menu here, the content explorer menu, if you're up to date, you're going to want to go into mod, main, script, and height.lure. Make sure it is there. You don't have to do anything, just make sure it's there. And once that's good, go over to the left hand side menu, the hierarchy, and do new. Right click it, go to new. And we are going to choose box script. And with the box script selected, we're going to go to properties and in the file, I'm going to choose mod main script and height.lua. And we're just going to drag that over somewhere around there. I'm going to just raise our spawn point. And let's see what we got. So, as you can see, we have just a flat base here. Um, the material is rock with dirt on top. And going back to GIMP now. Let's uh, let's add a little bit of um, I don't know a hill on the outside. Um, just gonna change that red value to fifty, and I'm gonna choose a paintbrush. I'm just gonna paint most of it like that. I'm gonna leave a little bit in the center there. So. Now we can go export that again. All, if you're using GIMP, all you have to do is export to height.png and it will do that for you. Or the shortcut, control E, I think it is. And we go back into teardown. Reload using control R in the editor. And we're gonna play that. And as you can see, we now have a little bit of a pit in the middle with uh, a higher ledge around the outside. 
and we're going to go back to GIMP. And if you have noticed, the higher the value of the red, the higher the, uh, the terrain is going to be. So what I'm going to do now is just choose 100. Actually, I'm going to choose 80. And I'm going to go around. I'm just using like a, a softer brush kind of to hardness 075 and you of course you can change the hardness and force on your own there and so once we've done that we can go with the height layer selected go into filters and blur and Gaussian blur and we're going to increase that until those two different colors kind of blend in those two uh, the outside colors here so they just sort of blend in with each other there. And we're going to export that and go back to our game, reload that, and let's see what happens. And now we have a higher slope going all the way up to the edge. A nice gentle slope. And that's a result of the blur. If it didn't use a blur, there would be a ledge here and then a steep slope and then a ledge about here instead of them just uh, blending together like that. So that's why we use the blur. It just blends the uh, the different values of height, the different height values together to create a smooth slope. You can practice this yourself, play with it as much as you want. Um, so let's go to GIMP again and we're going to select the grass layer. And what I'm going to do there is I'm going to just select put everything except for green, zero, and I'm going to give, let's do a value of 25. And again, I am just going to paint the outside layer. It's going to look weird when you paint it because the blending mode is set to screen and this is what it does. So don't be alarmed if it doesn't look green because it is once you uh, um, take that layer away. It is green. So, with that painted, I'm just going to go, once again, export. A lot of exporting here. Go back to the game, reload, and we have ourselves some grass. Isn't that neat? So, back to GIMP. And just like with the height, the brighter the green value, the longer the grass is going to be. Ooh, that's kind of too close to that edge. Let's do something like that. <coughs> Excuse me. So once we do that, we're going to go to filters, blur, with the grass layer select selected, of course, layers, blur, uh, filters, blur, Gaussian blur. And once again, we're going to increase that until, it, until those uh, different colors kind of blend smoothly together and we're going to uh, bring back our height layer and we're going to once again export and head back to the game and reload let's see what we got it changed a little bit let's see and now we have grass that is short towards the middle and gets longer as it goes towards the edge. Does that make does that make sense? The higher value, the higher the green value, the longer the grass. It's pretty simple to understand. <coughs> okay, let's go to um. Let's play with the the special layer now. Now the special uses the blue channel. So what I'm actually going to do. Well, I think that'll be okay. What I'm going to do here is select a, a hard brush. Force and hardness all the way up. And I'm going to change the blue value to 25. Remember, on the scale of 0 to 100. I'm going to zoom in a bit. And I'm just in the special layer. I'm just going to create a little strip like that. All right. And we can go ahead and export that. 
and I've reloaded in the game and let's go play. And now we have ourselves a strip of uh, concrete. As you can see, this is rock underneath dirt. The dirt is breakable, the rock underneath is not. And then straight concrete. Or it's actually rock, I think, but it's just colored like concrete. Either way, um, that's what we got out of the special layer. Um, to use that, remember the blue value has to be 25. And you can actually go into the script and change the color of that. Um, but that's only if you really know what you're doing. Um, right now it just looks gray to match like a concrete road type look, but you can change the color of it to maybe make road lines and, and whatnot. Um, there's all sorts of fancy things you can do to it. If you want to learn more, I suggest watching the video of the dev doing this because uh, he can go a little bit uh, more in depth. I'm just showing you how to do this and not really much else. Um, but that is the basics of making a height map. Now, what if you want to, let's say, make it a little bit, you know, we have a hill, but it's not, it's not mountainous, it's not rocky, it's not rough terrain. I'm gonna go ahead and go back to the height layer, increase the red to 100, and I'm gonna take a brush here. I'm gonna lower, like uh, chalk one, I think is a funky looking brush. I'm going to lower the hardness and the force and I'm going to go ahead and just draw around the outside and with that I only need to blur just a little bit something like that bring back our other layers gonna export once again you know the drill let's head back to tear down let's reload and it changed once again and now I have sort of a rough rocky looking um, uh, border to my map now it is a bit grassy so what we can do Um, so that's where you just really put a low value there. How about that? And I'm going to paint it. Using the same brush, I'm just going to go like that. And let's give it a tiny little blur. Gaussian blur once again. All right, bring back our other layers. Export. Go back to the game. Reload that shiznit. And now we have a little bit less grass on the rocky parts. So you can uh, you can see how that makes uh, a slight difference. It makes the rock come through. Um, you can even increase it, uh, do it a couple times over so that you get more rock coming through and less grass but you can just play with it right so with that guys I hope uh, I hope you've learned something just remember once you see this video to grab the mod in the description the link will be in the description to the workshop mod and what you will see is just a blank uh, blank map like you saw at the beginning of the video and yeah from that point on uh, as soon as you get GIMP uh, assuming you get GIMP or paint on that or something um, you're, you're ready to follow along with this video and hopefully you can make something like uh, like at least this right and of course the height of the box script does have certain parameters you can change height or scale and then tile size and hollow those uh, other two are not important but the scale you can see what that did quite uh, uh, make quite a difference so now my uh, uh, my my hills are taller it creates sort of a border so you can't see the edge of the map 
because otherwise you just see this. So guys, that's how we do it. Hope you learned something. Any questions or comments, just uh, get back to me in the, uh, in the comment section, or you can message me in private, or do whatever you want. I don't care. I've, uh, I'm on Discord. Uh, you can ask me there. Uh, anyway, uh, until next time, guys, uh, I've been Murdoch, and peace out.